about the kicker right now. <laughs> <laughs> the kicker, it's uh, it was something that as soon as uh, I got the call about the fight with Frank Camacho, uh, we uh, looked at the film and uh, I seen him dipping to that side every time uh, Drew Dober threw his left hand at him. And I was like, Coach, I think I can land this kick. I think this, this is the thing that's gonna knock him out. So we worked on it the whole camp. Uh, just today we uh, came up with a uh, code number for it. It was zero, zero. I started hearing somebody, my coach just yelled, zero, 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 zero. Threw the kick, landed, knocked him out, and here we are. <laughs> Talk about parlaying that first victory that you had earlier this year in Austin. Back in the upcoming year, back in your hometown in Dallas, and getting here again. It feels good. It feels good. Two, two fights, both pretty much in my home state, you know what I mean? I love it, you know, and they both finishes. Hopefully this one gets a little bit more money with the 50000 Then, uh, yeah, it feels great. Some of those punches that you were landing, like you kept eating them, kept coming, kept coming. Were you getting frustrated? Going? I was getting frustrated. My hand hurts bad from that. Like he was taking some shots. I was laying into him and he wasn't, wasn't fading at all. Yeah. Did you think you were going to get that finish in the first round? Yeah, I, I believe I was going to get it in the first round. And I, when it didn't finish in the first round, I was ready for the like the normal Frank Camacho, you know what I mean? The three round bloody fight, but got him knocked out in the second round and didn't have to stay in there for 15 minutes. A lot of people are thinking that, you know, you're gonna be the ne next big thing in, the, in this division. You know, you had Joe Rogan almost speechless. I, I feel the same way. That's, that's, that's my goal, that's my plan, you know? It's not just winning a couple fights in the UFC, it's being a face of the UFC, you know what I mean? A name, you know what I mean? People, when you think of UFC, you think of me, you know what I mean? That's what I wanna do, so. It's gonna happen. How long do you plan on taking before that becomes a reality? How long do you think it's gonna take you? Uh, not even thinking about that. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm the type of person that just takes things step by step. You know, I never look too far ahead. You know, I have a goal to be a UFC champion, but I know that's not like I'm not like I need to be champion now. I need to finish out this contract, get it resigned to another contract, and then we'll go from there. What was your reaction after you had a nice barrage and they came out and screamed at you? I uh, love were you caught off guard at all? No, I, I, I was. I seen him do it in the fight before, and to see him like do it like in my face, like in person, I was like, "Oh fuck yeah!" I was yelling at him like, "You're a fucking warrior!" And like, we, he just started yelling. That it got me excited. Yeah. When you have an opponent that is able to kind of walk through some of those shots and kind of came for it, do you welcome them so you can maybe you know showcase a little bit more of the skills that no. you want to do? I, I, I <laughs> that's his Frank style is like a style that I do not like, you know, because he could have, you know, I could have gassed out. And he could have still been doing the zombie on me, and then I would have got beat up in the third round. That's what I was really worried about, just getting drawn out to the third round and him just still sitting there taking shots, and now I'm tired. But this is his element. This is what he does. You know, he, he's used to that. I'm not. You got a couple teammates on this, on this card as well. Does that yeah. help having you know, teammates around you for this big night? Yeah, it, helped, it helps a lot. It, uh, I didn't feel like I was going into war alone. You know what I mean? I had... But we had like a locker room full of like friends, coaches, you know. It, it was, it felt good. Did you pay attention to the fight before with Charles? Did yeah, kinda, I, I paid, I paid attention to it. Yeah. Did that kind of, you know, kind of damper your mood at all? Or? For for a minute, but then once I seen all the people out there when I was walking out, it was back down to reality, you know. So you had a hard camp. Yeah, it was a tough camp. What was, the, what was hard about it? Just working. Uh, I work like damn near 50 hours a week. You know what I mean? I'm a server. It's, I mean, I'm not complaining about it. You know, it's the life I chose. Like, that's the reason why I serve anyway, so I can have some uh, flexibility. But just, like, the worst days are Fridays. I fucking work Friday night, get off at, like, 3, go to bed at, like, 4.30. Then I have to wake up at uh, 10 or 9, get to the gym by 10. And fucking the Saturdays are hard days. It's like we do rounds. So I'm sitting, in the, sitting there getting beat up for, like, 25 minutes when I'm dog shit tired from, like, four hours of sleep. But And then stress from... Don't want to get into it, but it, it's just stress. It was a lot of stress, but I made it through, and I'm here now. So when do you have to go back to work? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, my managers are cool. I got some of my managers here. They're probably going to give me the month off, I'm telling them. <laughs> thank you, thank month you. off before I quit. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, have, they, have, they have a choice. So when was the last time you, had to, you were waiting? Last time I served? Yeah. Uh, last Sunday. Last Sunday. Last Sunday. Yeah. Do you expect better tips now? If people, if people remember me, actually, no, I expect worse tips because I'm like, oh, he's a UFC, I'm giving give him a dollar. <laughs> We've seen you on TV, you don't deserve this money. <laughs> that's, that just sounds extremely difficult to be able to work so much, train at a high level. Like, are there points you're like, I can't do this, I can't do both? Like, or. I mean, I, to, honestly, 
I'm at the bottom tier of the UFC, so yeah, I'm able to work and fight. But once I start getting up there, fighting like, you know what I mean, the ranked dudes, I'm gonna have to be training full time for them. Where are you, you know? at in your contract? Like, how many more fights do you Two have? more. Two more? Two more. I'm just gonna keep on saving up, and then once it, uh, hopefully I get this 50,000, you know what I mean? And then it's, I'm gonna start building from there. At what point do you think it's gonna be time to go full time? Is it, you know, two fights away, one fight away? I don't know. I have, like I said, I'm step by step. I'm not trying to set like a goal and get disappointed myself when it doesn't happen the way I want it to happen. Yeah. And what about the you know the team just atmosphere at Fortis right now? So many guys coming through in the Contender Series, you know, on this card tonight, even and just really building the whole Michigan gym up as a whole. It's awesome. It's just a team. Like it. It honestly, I told somebody before, it doesn't even feel like we have that many guys in the UFC. Like every time somebody brings it up, I'm like, oh shit, yeah, we got like fucking seven, eight nine people that are in the UFC, you know, but honestly, we're not in the UFC yet. We still got to prove, we got to be in the UFC, you know what I mean? We have guys that are just getting into it, but we need to establish ourselves as a force in the UFC, not just a team that just happened to get 10 dudes on, in the UFC off of a contender series, you know what I mean? Yeah, cool. All right. Good. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Cool. Hey, thank you.